Good morning, guys. Welcome back to I'll Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. My house looks crazy in the background, but that's okay. Today is October the 1st. I can't believe it's October. It's countdown to Halloween. And, uh, yeah, look at my house. <laughs> that's all the bags <laughs> on the, the uh, washer. Anyways, it's early morning. Let me see what time it is. It's almost 8 o'clock. I just got up, got dressed, took my medicine, relaxing. Now I'm getting ready to start the day. <laughs> I've got to get my orders from yesterday packaged up. I've got my stuff on my table, my packages, my thank you cards, my scale. Over there is a tote full of stickers and different color pens and all that. And I've got some tissue paper because I'm going to be doing packages a little bit differently. I'm just trying to find things that, you know, that work for me. I'm just trying to work things out. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I got to sit down and get all this ready and buy all the labels and print, all the, print them all out print some more happy mail stickers because I'm out of them and uh, get things ready to drop off to the post office on Saturday. I'm going to drop everything off on Saturday morning. So I got two days. Today's Thursday. I got two days to get them all together. Hopefully I can do that successfully without having too many um, issues. But yeah, Devin's at work today. If you hear that noise in the background, it's the dehydrator. He's got some beef jerky going. Jess is still asleep. He'll be waking up at any minute because he usually wakes up around 8 to 8.30. And uh, then we gotta, you know, get our day going. I don't have anything major to do today. I got some, uh, I got a to-do list I gotta take care of. And me and Jess will be outside at some point because he's got his new bicycle. We bought him and he loves riding it. So I'm sure we'll end up outside at some point today and I'll just film clips throughout the day and vlog. <laughs> but yeah, I gotta get started on packages. Okay, so I just got done packaging up all the orders to piled up right there. I ran out of thank you cards, so I had to buy some thank you cards and some printing labels Saturday morning before I mail them off and just fill them out real fast, print them, the labels, and go. <laughs> but um, I'm trying a new way of packaging up my orders just to try to make them look cuter, you know, and um, more special. And so I hope you guys like them. Definitely would love feedback. <laughs> and I got to order bigger mailers because the large totes, only one will fit in the mailers I have right now and some people ordered more than one so I have to um, I have to order bigger pink mailers I got it on my list of things to buy <laughs> but Jesse's awake now he's in there watching TV and the stinking dehydrator is still going I wish it hurt and stop but I gotta hop off here and print off some more of my happy mouse stickers I only got four left I gotta print more and start printing labels and get the rest of these orders finished up <laughs> okay I just got back my mom came and picked me up and we went to the post office because I had to get some packages and we went to Walmart. Let's stick off here. I had to grab um, some labels and tape and stuff that I ran out of for packages. But I did buy something. I bought this. It's like a, what do they call it? Sterilot? Sterilot? Three drawer thing. I got this to put by my printer to put labels and thank you cards and all that kind of stuff that I need for packaging in. It was marked for almost $7, but it rang up as $5, so woo! <laughs> it was like $6.97. But I got a bunch of Happy Mail, so all stuffed in this one bag. And uh, I got some from the other day that I wanted to go ahead and show. I was saving it for a Happy Mail video, but I thought I might as well do it now. The background is dirty. <laughs> There's packages. That's my pillow I set on, on the porch. And this is laundry that needs to be put away. <laughs> and all kinds of stuff. Just ignore it. It's just real life. Okay, so for mail that I got today, I got this little package. This is from a new YouTuber. Her name is Betsy. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. She's the one that's Emmy, my hook, and I. And uh, I tagged her in the fall questions tag a few days ago. And she sent me a little package thanking me, which is super sweet. So, definitely check out her channel. All the channels that I'm going to talk about in just a second are going to be linked in the description. Check them out. They're all awesome. So, this is the card she sent. It's really pretty. It's like textured, <laughs> but she wrote a really nice letter and she wrote it with pink. What is this handmade? I don't know if she made it. I'm assuming, but it says that it's handmade. That's so cute. But um, she used pink, which is my favorite color. But she was just thanking me for tagging her and for giving her a shout out. And uh, so she sent me a little package. So she said she doesn't have a lot of uh, yarn yet, like a yarn stash. So she sent me a little ball of yarn and she sent me some fat, fat quarters, fabric fat quarters. She said she does have a lot of that. <laughs> so she sent this little cotton, uh, it's Mayflower Cotton 8, 100% bowl mold. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that word is. But uh, it's uh, 50 grams, 170 meters. 
Uh, it's really small. It doesn't have the number rating on it, but it looks small. <laughs> really cute colors, like a blue-gray color. Really pretty. And then she sent some really pretty fat quarters. There's four of them. So this is pretty tulipy looking one. This one with bears. All right, hold on just a minute. This one. And this one. So I will probably, since she sent those to me, I'll probably make me something with these. Just so it'll be like a keepsake, you know. And then she also sent this cute little envelope. She must be a paper, paper crafter too. It's got a monkey on it. He's like meditating. <laughs> he says hello. But inside of it is some stitch markers. So this one looks like a kind of like a dragonfly or a fairy or something. Really cute. And then there's this little cat. It's like the good luck cat is what it looks like. Maybe that's a bunny. That's a bunny. <laughs> and then there's this really cute one with a ladybug. Blue greeny blue <laughs> and it's got some beads hanging right and then there's this bead this is like a uh like a thread bead kind of looks like a christmas pudding <laughs> i love christmas puddings all right i'm gonna put those back in there so i don't lose them and then i'll hang them up on my stitch marker wall so that was for betsy thank you so much you didn't have to do that but i do appreciate it because everybody loves happy mail this next one, this is an order. I ordered this from Anna, who is Adventures with Anna. She reopened her Etsy shop recently and has some crochet things in there. And she made these bags a while ago. She made a few of them. And I always admired it. So I, when she put it back up and I seen the post, I was like, I'm going to buy one of those. So I bought one. So her channel is Adventures with Anna. And uh, she makes a lot of cool things. And... Uh, Tunisian crochet and stuff and this is a little this is supposed to be a dice bag because for people who game I mean you can put anything in it so it's really cool it's beaded got pony beads and it's like in a uh, like a swirl effect you know and the top has and it's just a little drawstring bag I will probably carry notions in it maybe or something I don't know I don't even know I just bought it because I thought it was really cool I was torn between this one and she has a pink one with black beads, but I think I I wanted the pink one because it's pink, but I like this one a lot. The colors are just real pretty. So I will link her channel below and then you can check out her other links from her channel, but it's Adventures with Anna. Thank you, Anna, for sending it super duper fast. I ordered it like two days ago, I think, two or three days ago, and it's here, so woo! <laughs> All right, and then I got the new Joanne's flyer, which I will be tearing into that in a minute. Got the thing reminding me to pay my P.O. Box bill. <laughs> it's due this month. And something deal. Then my next, this is my Amazon order. This is just zippers. Came in a really squished up box. <laughs> but it's called Mandala Crafts. But they're zippers. I think I got the 13 inch ones this time. I'm probably going to order bigger ones. I'm going to try to keep like a, a steady stash going. Yeah, these are like the 13 inch zippers. These are for the tote bags coming up. I think there's 80 in here. Yeah. There's 80 and there's 20 different colors. I don't look like there's 20 colors, but whatever. But the 13 inches, the zipper is actually 12 inches because the zipper goes from the actual zipper end to the actual zipper end. And then the other inch is the little flappy bits on the end. So these are going to be in some tote bags coming up in the shop soon. Although I need to put in my craft room. Craft storage room. All right. This is all Happy Mail that came last week i got it in a apple <laughs> a fruit bowl but this is just some fabric right here my friend phyllis lives up north and um i got a joann's reward a week or so ago it was on us ten dollars off ten dollars or more but i wasn't able to spend it before it expired because Devin had to work and so she offered to i took a screenshot of it and sent it to her and she went and bought me some fabric with it and then she mailed it to me so uh i picked out this print it's a Disney. It's got like a bunch of Disney cartoon posters on it. So a yard and a half of it. So and it came to ten seventy nine. So she just paid seventy nine cents out of pocket, which is cool. But those will be bags eventually. I might make these into the first bags with zippers on them. Whenever I get around to doing that. <laughs> so thank you so much, Phyllis. She also sent some Halloween uh, fabric to make Jesse a mask with for Halloween. And then another Joanne's thing. <laughs> 
And then I got, let's see here. This is from, ooh, don't fall. This is from Connie, who is Wildflower uh, Loops, Wildflower Loops on YouTube. Link, I'll link it below also. She sent me this little thank you card. I sent her one of my bags. I accidentally messed it up and I asked her if she was okay with getting like a dodgy bag. And, cause I knew she liked cats. And she was perfectly fine with it. So I sent her a bag that I accidentally messed up, but it was still functional. And then she sent this back for Jesse. It's a Captain America shield. And uh, he loves it. He's been playing with it. I kind of hid it from him so I can make this video, but I'll give it back to him. <laughs> but she, this is her own pattern. And she's made some different looking ones. So definitely check out her channel too. Thank you so much, Connie. I already talked to you though. <laughs> and then this last one, I stuffed it in a bag. This is from Michelle. And she is Shell Shell Crochet here on YouTube. So I will link her to my Apple thing. Ugh. Okay. So she sent this stuff just because I got to pick me up. Okay, got it all laid out. Okay, first she sent some more scrunchies. <laughs> Anyone who gets Happy Mail from her knows what these are because she usually sends these. I still have some for my Christmas package she sent me last year, and I wear them a lot. So here's some more to add to my stash, and that's Halloween-y, so I'll be wearing that now. <laughs> and then she sent a bandana for your hair, which I will definitely wear. I love bandanas. She sent, whoops, I just, oh, that's just a label. She sent a dishcloth, washcloth, and a scrubby. And then she sent um, four little envelopes, right? There's her little card. I need to make some of these for my packages, but I will link it below. All right, here's number one was the, you know, the regular card explaining everything. <laughs> Number two was a package full of stickers for me. Bunch of super cute stickers. These are just cute, cutesy stickers. And then these ones are super cool. <laughs> these are like Halloween stickers. They're vinyl stickers. I love this one because crows and ravens are like my favorite. Uh, just really cute Halloween stickers. There was an owl one, but Devin took it, which is fine because I don't like owls. <laughs> and then... Envelope number three is stickers for Jesse, which is just a bunch of stickers, which I'm going to put these in his pre-K box, which is right there. <laughs> it's got his little booklets and stuff that we do, and he can use them with that stuff. Whoops. And she also sent, I forgot that, she sent another envelope, but this one I'm not supposed to open until we do trunk retreating. No, I just hit the tripod. So I gotta open this when we after we go trick or treating, trunk or treating. But she said by November first, so Halloween night basically. Uh, and then she also said this little it's like a soap sack, and it has a bunch of teas in it. A whole bunch of them. <laughs> so oh, there's another scratchy. That one was underneath the tea. <laughs> so got all that stuff from her. She's awesome. I love those stickers, and I can't wait to open that other one. I don't know what's in it. <laughs> But, um, it smells good. It smells sagey. I told Devin when I opened it and it, he smelled it and he's like, that smells like sage. And I said, well, maybe she cleansed it before she sent it <laughs> with, you know, cleansing state sage. But yeah, so super cute. All kinds of happy man. I got to put it all up. But this pink thing that I bought is to put like my labels and my stickers and stuff in. I'm about to do that and then put it in there. So it'll be a little bit more organized, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to clear all this stuff up and then I will check back in with you guys at some other point throughout the day. Thank <laughs> you.